everyone. My name is Bridget and I'm the Director of Animal Care out here at Sharkarosa and today we're going to be talking about Tex. He is our sulcata tortoise. These guys are also called African spurred tortoises. He wants some mango Tex. So he lives out in our ringtail enclosure and the ringtails are jumping around all above us. <laughs> um, and these guys get along very well. They're all just more interested in the food right now than Tex so much. Um, but he is 13 years old and he probably weighs about 65, maybe 70 pounds right now. So he's getting pretty big, um, but he is definitely not full grown. He is a male sulcata tortoise, so that means he can get easily up to 100 pounds and some have even been known to get up to 200 pounds. So he's going to be a very big boy one day. And get the mango um, but they grow very slowly so Tex is only 13 years old and these tortoises don't even reach um, maturity until they're 15 so he's not even mature yet um, and they grow very slowly so it might be like another 20 years before he reaches 150 pounds or even 100 pounds it could be a very long time now Tex here was someone's pet uh, these Sulcata tortoises are very common in the pet trade. Um, whenever they're babies, they're only about two inches. So they're pretty small. Let me get the, the mango. So people think, oh, it'd be very easy to have them as a pet. Um, you know, they're just so little. But uh, during the first 10 years of their life, they can grow pretty decently sized. So uh, you need a pretty big space Oh, we dropped it to house these guys usually they like large yards with lots of grass like we have out here in our ringtail enclosure because these guys eat grass all the time uh, that's one of their main diet staples out in the wild they will eat um, some other vegetables oh get that piece you dropped um, but out in Africa it's mainly just going to be grass here at Sharkarosa, we let him graze out here and we'll give him snacks every now and then. Like we just gave him a piece of mango and I also have some squash for him too. Um, but we'll let him finish up the mango pieces that he dropped. Now, um, these guys are also called uh, spurred tortoises because of the spurs that are going to be right here on his legs. So these little, uh, this part right here kind of looks like little spurs. Um, and they're also called spurred thighed tortoises, so there's quite a different names that you could call them that you would be right. You want this? Oh, yes. He's hungry, boy. Oh. Get it. You got it? Oh, no. no, we don't <laughs> got it. Um, out in the wild, these guys, because they are native to Africa, and it does get very hot in Africa, um, in order for them to keep cool in the heat, they will actually burrow and dig, and they can dig down to 10 feet uh, with their burrows. And they'll be, usually if it's like, you know, 120 outside and they dig down 10 feet, it might be about 70 degrees Fahrenheit down there. And they'll keep them nice and cool. And they're a good part of the ecosystem in Africa because whenever they dig their burrows, they're not the only animals that utilize them. Uh, other animals will utilize it too, like African crested porcupines and different types of birds and snakes and things like that too. Uh, Carissa asked how long do they live? So they can easily live to be 80 to 100 years old. And like I said earlier, Tex here is only 13. So he's still very, very young. So they have a lifespan similar to a human. So he's like a little teenage tortoise right now. <laughs> So if you ever got one of these as a pet, it's a pet you would have to have your entire lifetime and even uh, give to your children one day because they do live so long. Um, and they do need uh, quite a bit more care than like your average pet. So uh, they need like a big yard to run around and they do like to dig. So you'll need to make sure that uh, the ringtails want some snacks. Um, that if you have a yard that they're not going to be able to dig out that readily. Um, now with our ringtail lemurs being in here too, they don't really mind the tortoise too much. Um, if anything, they're just like, what is that thing? Is it a rock? Why is it moving? So they're just more curious than anything. 
and Tex doesn't mind the ringtails being out here either. As you can see, they don't really care. Um, Tex is more interested in eating all that yummy grass and the ringtails just want the snacks. Um, and this ringtail that's over here with him is our younger ringtail. His name is Ranger. So he's a little bit more adventurous than the adults can be sometimes. So they're all hanging out up there. Let me get on top of him. Eat them craisins. Yeah. Now something else that's very interesting about tortoises is if you guys have ever seen cartoons where the tortoises, you know, like get out of their shells or take them off like it's a pair of clothes. That's not true at all. <laughs> so their spine is actually fused to the shell and the shell is also called a carapace. Um, so their body is all attached in there. So they can't come out of their shells or anything like that. So that stays in there. Now, of course, the shell is going to be the best form of protection um, for them in the wild against other predators that might want to eat these guys as a snack. Um, so this super hard so nothing can get in there and whenever he gets startled he'll pull his head in and he'll use his legs to act like a shield in front of his face so it'll protect him. What's on ya? Hi. Now in case you guys are wondering, um, they can feel whenever you touch their shells. Um, so like whenever that ringtail is on him, he knew that the ringtail was there. Um, but the shells are kind of like your fingernails. So if you apply pressure to your fingernail, it's kind of the same as like touching the outside of a tortoise's shell. Did you find all the snacks over here? <laughs> Candace asked, does Tex like people or does he just come for the food? Um, I think Tex likes us. If anything, he's getting more used to us. So we haven't had Tex very long. We got him uh, several months ago, so at the, uh, right before winter started. So if you guys came out to Sharkarosa, you probably haven't seen him because it hasn't been warm enough. Um, and I know his owners who used to have him um, would give him like scratches and he'll follow you around the yard. So he's definitely warming up to us. Uh, so he's definitely warming up to us. Um, we're not quite at, you know, uh, best friends level yet, but we're working on it. He used to be super shy anytime any of us would come near him. He'd hide in his shell. But as you can see now, like we're able to feed him. We can touch on him. Oh. Sometimes he's Bye. still busy. That or he's like, wait a second, I'm not too sure about it. But as we interact with him more um, with his time here at Shark Rose, especially now that it's warmer out and he could be outside more and he's feeling a lot better because um, reptiles don't like the cold. So he didn't also like being inside either. My text. No some chin scratches. Oh, he likes that. You're like, oh yeah, I remember. So. We're still working on building trust with him, just like with any animal. They have to take time to get used to you. All the ringtails are used to us, though. <laughs> but they also just come for the snacks, too. <laughs> All right, like, give it to me. <laughs> so the ringtail lemurs also come from Africa, but not the same part of Africa. Uh, that Tex would come from. So Tex comes from the mainland and these guys all come from the island of Madagascar which is right off the coast of Africa. Can you guys go in here? I'll do that some more. Now with Tex, um, the Sulcata tortoise is actually the third largest species of tortoise in the entire world. The second largest is the Aldabra tortoise and the first largest is the Galapagos tortoise. Now these, uh, both the Aldabra and the Galapagos actually are island tortoises. And these are would be like the biggest mainland tortoise. And those are the lemurs, if you guys can hear that. <laughs> they like to make lots of noise all the time, but that's just their alarm call. So whenever they see or hear something that kind of spooks them, they call out to all the others to be like, hey guys, there's something going on. What is it, Elroy? No, they're like, like we don't I like, like the knots. We don't like the almonds. You didn't want it. <laughs> it's right here. It's right here. You did it. You got 
got grass hanging out of your mouth. You look kind of silly. Yeah. Someone asked, does Tex hibernate in the ground? Uh, so, still on my ponytail. <laughs> uh, uh, so, reptiles will do what we call brumation, which is very similar to hibernation. So, their bodies kind of go into sleep mode. Um, they won't move around a lot. They typically won't eat or drink water. They just stay pretty stationary. And they'll do that whenever, um, you know, the temperatures drop. So during the winter, Tex, um, he'd eat a little bit, but he mainly just wanted to kind of like hang out and sleep. So they do kind of hibernate um, in their own way. Now in the wild of Africa, I don't know exactly how cold it gets over there. So they might not do the same thing as they would over here. Um, they could. I just don't remember how cold it gets over there. Probably not very cold. <laughs> but he's very good. All of them just hang out together. They're all friends. Right ring tails. <laughs> Whenever we first put him out here, they were inspecting him, and every time Tex would move, they'd jump back a couple feet, and then they'd go up to him again. Like, oh my gosh, I think it's so scary. more crazy. Y'all are being very good ring tails. <laughs> Everyone comes. <laughs> <laughs> All the crazy. Now with uh, tortoises, they're very attracted to colors. So the red color signals to him that it's like a like a fruit or something edible along with the green colors they know that's grass and the yellows too um, now something you guys may or may not know is the difference between a turtle and a tortoise so a tortoise is more of a uh, animal that's going to be walking around on the land while turtles go swimming so the easiest way to tell the difference between the two of them is by looking at their feet. So if you look at Tex's feet, good job Tex getting up and showing us your feet. Like, look at um, my feet. They look more like kind of stumpy looking, um, where they're more solid. Whereas if you look at a turtle's feet, they have very long, uh, slender feet where they have like long nails that are going to be good for like moving around in the water. So his, I would say they'd be very similar to like an elephant. the ringtails. <laughs> but he just kind of motors around in this enclosure. As you can see, he doesn't go very fast at all. Um, and he'll just kind of hang out and eat all the grass. He also really likes our little rock house that we have over there. Usually by the end of the day, he's hanging out in there. Does anyone else have any questions? They're like, I know that's where the snacks come from. <laughs> the snack bag. <laughs> um, but the ringtails are very cute too. We'll talk about ringtail neighbors while we're out here too. Um, they do have the ringtails, so there are going to be 26 stripes on each ringtail lemur's tail. Um, there's going to be 13 black stripes and 13 white stripes, and each of their tails are going to end in a black stripe. And, uh, these guys will do what we call sunbathing, so they'll sit on her like over right here where they have like their arms out like this and they'll face the sun and that will warm their body up. <laughs> Greedy lemurs. <I> <laughs> um, but they are very cute. They live in troops. Um, and in the troops, there's going to be one lemur who's in charge. If you guys ever saw the movie Madagascar, there was King Julian. He would dance around saying, I'd like to move it, move it. Well, the movie wasn't quite right. So it's actually a female lemur who is going to be in charge. And ours is this one right here. This is Aria, and she is our queen. And then this one right above her is her sister Sansa. And then this is one of our younger males, Rangers. So the girls always make sure they get all the good treats first. And then the boys typically eat last, which is why Elroy's over here by himself. It's 
And that's uh, our capybaras making some cute little noises talking to each other. They're behind us on this wall. Um, but Elroy typically is hanging out by himself because the girls will kind of like bop on the <laughs> Yeti. <laughs> <He's> Yeti. <laughs> Attacking. Like Abby. Bailey asks, which ringtail is your favorite? I like Elroy. Just because he's kind of goofy and <laughs> he likes to come up and just kind of like tap on you, like, hey, hey, don't forget about me. Yeah, get all those almonds. <laughs> he's been on that. <laughs> no, I don't want it. You guys can't have all the craisins. No. No. See, I love it whenever they do that. They're like, like hey, hey, give me more. <laughs> I want all the snacks. Um, in Madagascar, the ringtail lemurs spend about half of their life living on the ground, whereas other species of lemurs, like our rough lemurs and our brown lemurs that we also have here at Chakarosa, they spend more time up in the trees. Um, that's why the ringtail lemurs have the ringtails, and so when they're on the ground foraging like they are right now, they'll put their tails in these question mark shapes, and that's just going to signal to the rest of the troop and be like, hey, it's safe, we don't need to worry about any predators, and whenever predators do come, they'll uh, do their alarm call. And it's very funny to hear their alarm call, because Elroy here especially, he sounds like a little chicken, he goes, Arr! <laughs> They're eating the grass that has the mango juice on oh it. Oh my god. <laughs> but they they all live together really well. They have a huge yard. So even if um, the ringtails didn't want to hang out with the porters, there is plenty of room in here for them to, to practice social distancing. <laughs> Um, and we really thank you guys so much for supporting us and watching these live videos. You know, they're super fun for the staff here to make. And we love seeing how many people are watching and all the cool comments you guys leave us and the questions you ask. Um, since we're not open right now, this is our only way of us reaching out to you guys. We also have a new YouTube channel. Um, we have a link posted in one of the posts probably below this video. Um, so be sure to go subscribe because we're going to be posting all sorts of cool videos, more like behind the scenes stuff as well. So be sure you check that out. Um, we do also have donate buttons on a couple of our pages because like I said, we're not open to the public, but typically this is our most busy time of the year. Usually um, Monday through Friday, we're doing about 10 field trips throughout the week. And then we're also open Saturday and Sundays. Um, but right now we don't have any of that going on, but we still have to be out here taking care of the animals and we have 182 mouths to feed. Um, so we really do appreciate you guys watching the videos, even if you can't donate, um, just to let us know that you're out there supporting us it really means a lot to us. So we'll say goodbye to Tex. Bye Tex. <laughs> and we'll say goodbye to the ringtail lemurs and... Elroy, who's still trying to get into the treat. <laughs> He's like, I'm not giving up yet. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for, for supporting us.